Hey guys, this is your Trusted Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about next chances for severe weather. I will say now that the beginning of May, uh, the first half of May, I should say, is not generally favorable for severe weather, so expect less severe weather for the first half of May, but the second half of May is where things are likely to start kicking off again, like this April, uh, the end of April. So there will be less severe weather for the first half of May and more severe weather in the second half with how things are looking right now. But today, before I get into this video, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 85% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the sub subscribe button if you like weather-related content and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss an upload. Let's get right into this. This is surface-based cape on the GFS model. Generally, the higher amounts, the more severe the storms will be in most cases. Uh, some cases, that's not true, but uh, in most cases. You do see here around Friday, which is tomorrow, uh, May 2nd, no, May 1st, sorry. Um, you do see some Cape up to 2,000, maybe a little higher in Oklahoma, Kansas, and some other regions north, but uh, this is definitely favorable for severe weather. Um, but if you go into precipitation and you see here, April 2nd, right around that same time, no rain, no storms, no development. So the very limiting factors to these severe weather chances are storm development and development of storms. So there's definitely the conditions for severe weather and everything is favorable for severe weather except for storm development. So if we can get just a few storms to kick off down there, then you'll definitely have severe weather chances. So that decreases confidence significantly due to storms not being able to develop. Uh, but as we look further, where we have our bigger chance for severe weather, if you look over here, right here, Cape values as high as over 4,000, which I do think is an overshot, but around May 4th, May 5th, for all these regions here, um, you could expect severe weather if storms develop. That's the big if, is if storms develop. And if we look at soundings for central Oklahoma, 3,400, uh, you do see possible hazard type, which is none for this area because storms are not projected to develop at this time. Uh, but the parameters are definitely there uh, for severe weather, except for the storm development, as I said earlier. Um, if you do look here, Supercell composite is over 30 in a lot of regions. If we look at southern Kansas, you do see tornado uh, EF3 or higher. If storms, if tornadoes were to develop, they could reach that potential. However, if we look, okay, if we look at precipitation rate, right around here, you do see here there's not much storm development. The more rain and storms are ahead of the severe weather uh, potential. So if that can slow down a little bit, then we'll definitely have severe weather potential uh, for those areas. Looking at uh, the SBC day four to eight discussion, uh, for day four, which is Sunday, uh, a severe risk may develop across parts of the mid-Mississippi Valley into the Ohio Valley on day four. Um, at least marginal severe probabilities will probably need to be included once confidence increases. So definitely potential there. And if we go into day five, some severe risk is evident across parts of the southern central plains into the Ozarks and perhaps mid-Mississippi Valley. Uh, so there's definitely that potential, but storms actually need to develop. As you can see here, there is also uncertainty whether any storms will form in the warm sector by Monday afternoon and evening. So that is the main limiting factor to this potential severe weather event that could be coming up. That's your trusted weather forecast for upcoming severe weather chances. Please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.